Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to change the colors of the buttons here inside of Minecraft Java. And this is version 121.4. Okay, let's switch over to the desktop and I'll show you how this is done. The first thing we need is someplace to build our resource pack in. And I made a new folder on my hard drive here. I just named it pack on the C drive right there. So blank folder. And then I also put in here a custom pack.png image. This is just a 128 by 128 PNG image. That's all it is. Use any picture you want for that. That's fine. Okay, the second thing we need in here is a resource pack, a vanilla resource pack. And for that, let's bring up the Minecraft launcher. That's right here. And go into installations and latest release and click on that folder right there. And that brings up the Minecraft folder. And then scroll down and take them down to versions right here. Open versions up. And then find your version in here. And there's, there's a lot of these that have a lot of extra names in them, a lot of extra words. Ignore all of that stuff. What you want is the current version. And right now it's 121.4 and that's that one right there. That's one that we want. Let's go inside of this. And you want the jar file. Now, if you're only seeing one file, if you're just seeing a JSON file, then you need to open up Minecraft and go as far as the title screen and close it down. That's when they download the jar file. If you don't see the extensions in here, .jar and .json, then go up to view and come down here to show and check file name extensions. Now I'm in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the view tab and put a check next to file name extensions. Okay, so that's the file that you want right there. Let's go ahead and drag this over into our working folder. Let me just bring that up and it's right here. I'll just right drag it over here and copy. Make sure you don't move, make sure you copy. There we go, okay. Close that down. Now we need to change this over into a zip file. It's real easy. Click into the name once, click in a second time, and then backspace over the dot jar and make it say dot zip. Click outside, choose yes. There we are. It actually is a zip file. They just named it dot jar inside of Minecraft. Let's now open this up. I'm going to right click on this and let's open this in a new window. Makes it real easy this way. Okay, in here, I'm gonna put this right up there. Down a little bit, there we are. Go inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft, come down and go inside of Textures right here, and then go inside of GUI, and then inside of Sprites. And then scroll down to the bottom and go inside of Widget. And the ones you want are right at the top here, they're named Button, Button, Button Disabled, and Button Highlighted. Those are the three you want. Ignore the MC Meta ones, you don't need that. I'll hold the Control key down, let's click on Button Disabled and click on Button Highlighted. That's all you need. I'll just right drag those over here and copy. And you can see the buttons right there. Let's make our view as large as we can. There we go, those are the buttons. Now there are more things in here if you want to change other colors. We have check boxes are in here. Scroll down a little bit, the scroller is right here. There's the slider control right there. Tabs are down here. So a lot of other stuff is in here if you want to change those as well. We'll just do just these three, but the exact same technique is used for everything else. Okay, so here's our buttons. And as you can see, they're just gray. And we also need to make some new folders in here. Let's just change our view again down to large icons. Let's put some folders in here. You can see the folders right across the top up here. The first one we can't see, but it's up here. And that is the assets folders. I'll go up here to new folder assets. Go inside of assets, new folder. This one is Minecraft. And change our view here. Inside of Minecraft. New folder, this one's textures. Notice I'm just doing the ones right across the top, right there. Inside of here again, new folder for GUI. Notice that these are all lowercase. Let's just change our view here. There we go. Inside of GUI, new folder, sprites. And again, I'll change the view so they're all large icon view. Inside of sprites, one more folder in here. This one's widget. And we'll change that view as well. Okay, so there's all of our folders. When we get the colors changed here, we'll be putting those inside of the widget folder right inside of here. Okay, that's all good to go. The next thing we need is just to change the colors of these. And you can use any program that you want to do that with. It doesn't matter. Really easy color change. I'll just use Photoshop Elements. It's my personal favorite, but anything else. Affinity Photo is fine. Adobe Photoshop, if you happen to have that expensive program, that's fine. Online programs are fine. You can even do this in Windows Paint if you want to. I'll just use Photoshop Elements. And I'll open that up right now. There we go. And I'll bring the folder back up again. 
an easy way to get your files into almost any program is just to drag and drop from your open folder. There we go. And here are those files. There's the regular button file right here. It's the highlight button. Notice it has a lighter edge on it. And here's the dark button for disabled buttons. Just put that one at the bottom. Kind of rearrange these just a little bit here. Okay, let's now put some color on this. So you can recolor these any way you want. You can even do new artwork if you want to. I'll just recolor them. Move to our top one up here. And in Photoshop Elements, I like using layers. And also like using adjustment layers so that we can go back and change them in the future. I'll show you how that's done. But first off, let's make sure that these are all in RGB mode. So go up here to Image, come down to Mode. And you want RGB color. Again, you can do these exact same steps in any paint program. Just make sure you find where the mode control is and change all these to RGB. And that gives you full color. Okay, we're now set on that. Let's now change our color in here. And I'll use an adjustment layer hue saturation on this. And in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and I think Affinity Photo as well, you'll colorize first and then you'll give it a hue. Let's just pull this up a little bit and find a nice hue color in here. Maybe right here. 201, that's pretty good. Bring the saturation up so it's real bright. Like that looks good in the game. And you can adjust the lightness. You can also do this at 20. Okay, so here's our basic coloration. And then let's memorize these numbers over here. Close that down. Let's come down to our next one. This is the highlight. This should be brighter. So layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Same thing, colorize. And we have this at 201. And we had this all the way up on the saturation. And lightness, we had that at 20. I'm going to set this one at 30, so it's a lot lighter. That's good. Now, nice thing about using adjustment layers in here in Photoshop Elements, also in Photoshop, Affinity Photo, a lot of those programs, is you can go back to this and you can then adjust your saturation as well. I'm going to bring the saturation down to 75 for the regular button. That way, the highlight is brighter as well. There you go. Okay, it's coming down to our bottom one down here. And layer. New adjustment layer, hue saturation again, choose OK. Color eyes, put our color back in again, 201. We're using that on all of these. It is saturation at 75. And that's looking OK, that's kind of dark. We go to 10. So we have 10, 20, and 30 on that. So there's our basic buttons. Let's now save everything. I'm going to save these things twice. I'm first going to do a file, save. And it's going to automatically save this as a Photoshop file. And that saves the layers as well. So I can go back in the future and adjust that. Let's now do a save as on this one. And that's file, save as. And you want to save it as a PNG file. Choose save and let's overwrite that one. So the top one now, file and save. Same thing, just choose save. And then file, save as. And make it a PNG. And overwrite that button. There we go. And the middle one is the last one. File, save, and then file, save as, PNG, and save, and that's now done. Okay, all the buttons are finished. Let's close this down, and here we go. There's the new blue buttons, and then here's the Photoshop files, because I want to go back and change those in the future, change the color, whatever. It's already kind of ready to go. Let's now take these, I'll hold the Control key down, select all of these. I'm going to do right-click on this, and let's copy that. Go all the way inside of our folders. Right click and paste. Okay, it's all in the right place. Back to our pack here. So we're almost done. Now we need one more file in here. We need what's called a pack.mc meta file. And that just tells Minecraft that this is a resource pack. So let's go ahead, we'll do that. Now that used to be included in the zip file. It no longer is. Let me bring that zip file up one more time. I did say I was going to be showing you where you can get the default pack PNG. Let me just show you where that is. So back to our downloaded zip file. Right click on this. Open a new window. And right here, before you go into any folders, just go way down, quite a ways down here. Almost to the bottom, but not quite. And there you go. There is that pack PNG. This is the grass block one if you want to use the default one. Okay. Let's now get that pack.mc meta file. Again, this used to be included in that zip file. It no longer is. So I'm just putting these on my website. Let me bring my website up. I'll show you where that is. And it's right here, HTG George. I'll put the link for this in the description. You want to be in the pack.mc meta section right here. And then all you need to do is go over here, left-hand side, 
find your version of Minecraft and download that pack. And I already have the correct format number in there for that version. Whenever there's a new version of Minecraft comes out, I'm putting that new pack in here as well. So it's real easy. Okay, you want this one right here, the top one, 121.4. It's pack format 46. Click on this. These are all zip files. Just download this into your same pack folder. Choose save. Okay, that's done. That's right here. Let's just right click on this. Open a new window. And there's the file right there, pack MC meta. Just drag it over here and then close this down. We're done with that. And you can delete that zip file. No longer need that. Okay. Now to edit this, you should be editing this in a code editor. It's best if you do. Notepad can cause you some problems. So I recommend using Notepad++, which is a free download, and it's a very good code editor for Minecraft. That's what I'm using here. Just do a search on Google for Notepad++, and you'll find the free download for that. Okay, here we go. Pack format 46, that's correct. And then custom pack. I'm just going to change this to custom color buttons. Just so I know what that is. Save that. And that's all you have to do. That is done. Let's now build our resource pack. Get that assets folder. Hold the control key down. Grab that pack PNG and your pack.mc meta. Right click and compress this to zip file right there. You don't actually have to compress it to a zip. You could just put these into their own folder. That also works. But the zip file is smaller and it can help the program to load faster. That's why I do that. Let's just click in here, change the name. I'll call it color buttons. And that's all set to go. We now need to load this into the game. Let's bring back up the launcher. We're still on installations tab. Click on that folder icon right there. In here, now scroll down until you find resource packs right here. Open this up. And a new pack goes right in here. Let's put this right there. Let's bring up our other folder. And I'll just drag it and drop like this. There we go. Here's our color buttons. Okay, let's close that down and that down. We can now launch the game and test it. Click on play and let the game launch. And here's the regular gray buttons. Let's now come down here to options, resource packs, and you'll find your pack on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and find that. Here it is color buttons.zip, custom color buttons 41214. Just bring that over here. There it is. There's our new custom icon. Choose done. There's a the nice blue buttons. Got a rollover effect in there. See how nicely that works? She's done again, and here's the home page for that. So there you go. That's how you can easily change the colors of your buttons in here with just a simple resource pack. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm doing new videos all the time, and I'll see you next time.